Marilyn Monroe says it best. Wanting to be someone else is a waste of the person you are. Hey babes, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shalithia Trine, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope to have you as a new subscriber. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey, welcome back. Let's get into it. 2024 is all about leveling up. Physically, emotionally, internally, mentally, neither one can thrive without the other. Meaning, you can't thrive emotionally if you're all jacked up internally. And you can't thrive physically if you're all out of whack mentally. And vice versa. I once saw a quote that said, growth requires a new level from you. You're gonna have to embrace change and discomfort to get to the other side. And that's so true because you will never find me where you left me. The goal is to constantly level up. But what happens when you get into a funk or you're in a super transformational point in life where you just don't feel it? Your mental is all out of whack. You don't feel anything like yourself. You're all groggy. And you just woke up one day and said, no, it's not happening today. This is way too much. You are being distracted and it's allowing your mental state, that internal drive, to be affected by outside influences. Growth is painful. Change is painful. Things are going to be hard. But nothing is as painful and hard as staying stuck somewhere you know you don't belong. You have to say to yourself, I've worked too hard to feel like what I'm feeling like today. If your life just got a little harder, that probably means you just leveled up. And that's what I had to learn just not too long ago. In the world of Instagram models, TikTok influencers, and that girl culture, there is this sought for desire to be, if not one, all of the above. And we tend to put inside our brains that somehow being that girl, the it girl, is either difficult to achieve or difficult to maintain. And why is that? Well, because of imposter syndrome, because of life, because of stressors. These are reasons that make you wake up one day and say, I'm just not that girl. I don't feel like the it girl and that's okay. Now let's talk about it because there's a thin line between social media and reality sometimes. I took a long break from social media because I found myself trying to be in the same realms of people I am not. And it took a toll on me, both physically and mentally. Physically, I look good, okay? Mentally, I did not feel good. And there has to be a balance between the two always, especially when publicizing your life in the eyes of the media. Up until the point in my life that I'm at today, I battled with the constant need to always go 10 times harder. I wasn't the type to constantly bask in my current successes, right? I always felt like this isn't enough. I need more. I would be my biggest cheerleader, but also my biggest opponent because no one is going to push myself, criticize myself, challenge myself more than myself. And sometimes that's good, but it has to be healthy. And if it's not healthy, it's not good. And if it's not good, then you need to go back to the drawing board and figure out another way. But do not give up. Stay consistent and trust the process and the time will come. Once you have that embedded in your head, you will be able to apply the necessary steps to level up your mental. When I think about leveling up and what that means to me, I think about envisioning myself at my highest self and then showing up as her. I say this all the time. I picture a high value woman with a high value mindset. And that doesn't just mean focusing on the coin, but high value in a sense of having personal value, understanding your self worth, showing up with confidence. Is my self esteem high? Are my career ambitions and personal ambitions clear and attainable? Am I financially independent? Are all of my relationships healthy? Am I taking care of myself? Are my stress management levels under control? These are things that to me embody a high value woman. And it all starts with building that self-confidence and that self-esteem. I am capable of so much more than I think. My bad days do not define me. At some point, you just have to get up and do it. You can't wait until perfection comes knocking at the door. It won't happen. You cannot be afraid to try. Please remember, if you avoid failure, you also avoid success. Let that resonate. If you avoid failure, 
you also avoid success. Wayne Gretzky said, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. This is what leveling up your mental is all about. Showing up and giving it a shot, no matter what it is, even on the days that you don't feel like it, going for it and showing yourself just how strong you really are. Repeat after me, no more playing small. It's time to heal your inner doubt. It's like when you're younger and certain things made you really afraid. Maybe it was the dark, maybe it was a dog, maybe it was a cat, a clown, movies, whatever it was. And you realize somewhere as you grew older, some of those things just became much less scarier than they were before. And that my friends is called facing your fears. Somewhere along the way, you gradually confronted your fears, overcame those challenges and are where you are today. Imagine where you'd be if you made it a point to face a fear every single day. Why are you afraid to post that video? Why are you afraid to start that business? Why are you afraid to start back up on something that you once gave up on? Why are you afraid to try? Don't play yourself small. I'm going to give you nine tips that I want you to remember whenever you find yourself limiting your ability to grow. These nine steps should be written down somewhere where you can see them every single day. Embed them into your brain and really understand how they can apply to you. If you can do that for me, your mentality will skyrocket. I know this because I've done it firsthand. I might tell you a joke, but I'll never tell you a lie. I might tell you a joke, but I'll never tell you a lie. I'm telling you. I might tell you a joke, but, but I'll never, never tell you a lie. Yeah, I'm okay, tip number one, set realistic goals for yourself. Start by setting your most easily achievable goals first. You do this to familiarize yourself with the feeling of constant success, and then you gradually increase their difficulty. When you make your goals realistic, they become more attainable. And when they are attainable, they motivate you to put in the effort needed to reach them. When you begin to see yourself reaching these goals, you avoid frustration and you avoid burnout. Because sometimes, Sometimes, when your goals are set too high too soon, they can often be missed and that can lead to feeling a sense of failure or even decrease your motivation. And we don't want that. Making your goals realistic and watching yourself succeed often, no matter how small, leads to long-term success. So set those realistic goals. Tip number two, speak positivity into yourself. You want to replace those negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Constantly remind yourself of your strengths and your accomplishments. A quote that I like to lean on and speak to myself is, she remembered who she was and the game changed. Because I'll say it again, do not play yourself small. Tell yourself, I am capable of achieving my goals. I am worthy of everything that I want and desire. I focus on what I can control and let go of what I cannot. Speak these things into yourself and watch yourself grow. Tip number three, develop competence. Meaning, study the areas in your life that makes you the most happy. Become more skilled in those areas that are most important to you. Competence leads to confidence. I'll say that again. Competence leads to confidence. And when you are confident, you show up better than ever before. Tip number four, practice self-care. I read somewhere that self-care is giving the world the best of you, not what's left of you. Take care of your physical health, whether it's through exercise, activity, general movement. Take pride in your physical being. Have a clean, healthy diet. Treat yourself to pampering. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. It has been proven that your physical well-being truly does affect your mental health. Tip number five. Face your fears. We talked about this a little bit earlier today. Deliberately work to gradually confront those fears and overcome the challenges you face that are avoiding you from reaching your desired goals. Make it a goal to face a different fear each day. And months from now, when you look up and assess how far you've come, you just might realize that you didn't have anything to worry about in the first place. Tip number six, learn from your failures i this one took me a very long time to learn okay i had to unlearn a couple of things before i could really hone in on learning this specific tip learn from your failures remember when i said if you avoid failure you also avoid success understand that failure is a part of the process it's a part of your growth and it's needed for you to curb your ego in a way learn to view your failures as learning opportunities and watch how resilient you become you'll be able to appreciate that some of the things you thought you wanted didn't work 
work out the way you once wanted them to. Tip number seven, seek support. As much as we like to think that we can do it all by ourselves, we can do bad on our own, and whatever the case may be, don't hesitate to seek support from your friends, from your family, or even professionals for that matter. They can provide encouragement and perspective that we sometimes fall short on. The reality of success is you can't get there alone. Tip number eight, avoid comparisons. This one is so huge. Try not to compare yourself to others. Marilyn Monroe says it best. Wanting to be someone else is a waste of the person you are. Focus on your own progress, your own journey, and do it for you. You only have one life to live. Make sure it's yours. Eleanor Brown. And lastly, tip number nine, Remember to celebrate the small wins. Acknowledge and celebrate even the small accomplishments because what this does is it reinforces positive feelings about your ability and your drive. Remember, leveling up your mental is a process and it's normal to have ups and downs along the way. But be patient with yourself. Follow these tips and remain consistent in your efforts and you will always be that girl this is a new era of you go off and conquer all right babes that wraps up today's video i hope you feel encouraged challenged uplifted in some form or fashion i hope you took great notes and have all that you need to level up your mental in this great year of 2024 may you continue to level up in every area of your life and grow to be a better version of who you are today if you have any thoughts or experiences that you'd like to share or questions about what we discussed today please drop a comment down below. I love reading and responding to them. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on my videos and you can be notified every single time I post. As always, be yourself, be you, be beautiful, and be untamed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!